St. Lucia, an island nation with a little something for everybody. Back in September, I visited the crown jewel of the Caribbean for a few days to find out everything the island had to offer. This is how to travel St. Lucia for the young and adventurous. <laughs> Step one, find your crew and get to St. Lucia. Step two, learn to drive on the wrong side of the road. Stop. Step three, wake up for one of the most beautiful sunrises of your life. Step four, get to know the locals, oh especially the wildlife. We have to pay the cat in America Express, MasterCard, Visa, or Discover. Credit card payments only. No checks. Step five, hike the Petit Piton for the best view of the island. Going on a super long high hike. Hey, about him? I thought it was gonna be nothing. We're already kind of tired. We can it's uh, no one of the highest hikes. It's supposed to take us around two and a half, three hours, something like that. We did it! Woo! So we got our boy Livingstone here, right? Right here. Right here. And you do hikes up in those mountains, right? Yeah, right up here I do the Mont Jimmy, the Four Peaks, which is a challenging one. Also the Petit Piton. We also have the Ghost Piton. Now what's like the biggest snake you've seen up on the mountains? Well, two, we only have two snakes on the island, the boa, the boa and the fudilans. Fudilans is the poisonous one, so... Biggest one? Hmm. Probably 25 feet. Really? Snake. Oh yeah. Damn. I tried to kill it, but it, it was it escaped. Step six, dive the world-renowned coral reefs. Step seven, test your slack line skills. And finally, step eight, Relax on the beach for your last evening in St. Lucia.
So many chickens here. Just climb from the top of that motherfucker. What? What is up, Instagram Live? We are back. <laughs> I'm ruining everyone in your videos. It's actually crazy how like big the lens is. Quick looking into it. 